Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. Today I'll talk about the best lens you need for landscape photography and I'll also point out different situations when you would need to use these lens. My name is Toma. I'm a full-time landscape photographer and if you want to learn more about landscape photography make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more similar videos. If you want feedback on your photos or you have a question related to landscape photography use the hashtag PhotoTom on Instagram and every evening I'll check out and try to answer your questions and offer you feedback on your photos. Now, let's get back to the topic from today, and that is to talk about the best lens for landscape photography. I'll start with the lens I use the most, the Canon 24-105mm f4 image stabilized L lens. Even in this lens, it's not that wide, the 24mm is not that wide, and also the 105mm is not that long, it's a very good all-around lens. If I would have to choose only one lens to have in my camera bag, I would choose this lens. 105 mm it's not that long but I can switch my camera to crop mode and now the 105 mm becomes 168 mm and that is not that bad. The f4 is more than enough. Lens with wider apertures like f2.8 are usually twice the price and twice the weight and when we talk about landscape photography, we usually photograph at f8, f11, or f16. So why bother buying an f2.8? Now, some, some uh, photographers would uh, argue that the reason for buying an f2.8 lens is because it has a superior quality and it's much sharper. And I will say to that that I don't need something that is sharper. I'm okay with how sharp this lens is. And if you like my photos, then you'll believe what I have to say about this lens. Before telling you something about when I use this lens, please tell me in comments below what is your favorite lens from your entire bag and what lens do you use the most. Now, the 24 to 105 mm is my go-to lens when uh, I go and photograph inside the forest. Usually I'm not using really wide lens inside the forest, for the simple reason that I have to isolate the few areas of order that I find and using a wide lens makes it difficult. Another place that this lens is perfect is inside towns. So whenever I travel, this is my lens that I'm using the most. The big minus of this lens is the fact that the zoom is not made inside the lens. You have parts that come out of the lens and this creates two problems. In areas with dust and sand, I had small particles inside the lens. And also you need a rubber band to hold the lens for, uh, from changing the focal, uh, especially when it points down. Let's move to my second favorite lens, and that is the Canon 17-40mm to f4L lens. Again, it's an f4. It's wide. I use it to have foreground elements really close to the camera, so I don't need an f2.8. Also, when I bought this lens, the alternative was the 16 to 35 mm f2.2, 2.8, uh, that was much heavier and much more expensive. Every aspect matters, and sometimes I would need a wider lens than my 70 mm, but I know that just one mm extra won't be enough. However, the cases where I need something wider than my 70 mm are so rare that I really don't need something else. This lens is perfect in open spaces like the mountains and where I also have powerful and interesting foreground elements. It's a lot more difficult to use properly because it's so wide and simplicity is something that you should aim for when doing landscape photography. With a wide angle lens, uh, this is not always that easy to achieve or obtain because so much of the landscape can fit inside your lens. And the third lens uh, I think is a must in your camera bag is a Canon 70-200mm f4 image stabilized L. This lens is used rarely, but this is just because my personal preference in terms of subject. When you buy a telephoto lens, I know there are versions with no image stabilization and usually these lenses are a lot cheaper and my advice is simply not to buy them. <laughs> 
sooner or later you need or want to photograph uh, handheld and with no image stabilization it's going to be hard. I don't think you need the f2.8 as a landscape photographer, again because of double the price and double the weight. I've met people saying that when they photograph birds with this lens they need the f2.8 in order to have a shutter speed that is fast, uh, as fast as possible. To this I'm saying only one thing, to do wildlife at 200 mm it's not, it's not nearly enough. So really don't bother with an f2.8 if you are a landscape photographer. Usually this lens is used in combination with my 17 to 40 mm so depending on the places that I go to photograph I would take my 24 to 105 or the 70 to 40 mm together with the 70 to 200. If you are a beginner and you want to start with having only one lens just buy the 24 to 105 mm you don't have to buy the Canon Sigma also has an R series lens that are really good and that are less expensive than the Canons in future, think about having all the three, all these three lenses because you'll have every type of subject covered. I have the same lens for seven years now. They didn't broke. They held up in rain, in snow, and cold. And my photos stand as a testimonial of what you can do with these lenses. Don't forget if you want feedback on your photos or you have a question related to landscape photography, use the hashtag photo tom on instagram and i'll try every evening to answer as many questions as possible let me know in comments below what are the lens you use to uh, for your landscape photos and don't forget to subscribe for more videos related to landscape photography thanks for your time and bye bye